Well, my name is Benjamin Z. Miller, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, how is the UK government, the United Kingdom government, addressing the challenges in social care services ahead of a tough winter for the NHS? Well, good question. First, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, just like this video. So the UK government has allocated 600 million pounds in funding to address the challenges in social care services in England, particularly in light of the anticipated difficult winter for the NHS. This funding aims to retain and hire additional social care staff to support public services during a period of increased strain on the healthcare system. The funding package includes a £570 million workforce fund spread over two years, which will be distributed to local authorities and an additional £30 million specifically allocated for areas with the most challenged health systems. Campaigners and health leaders have generally welcomed the government's decision to provide extra funding especially for its early announcement in July. The commitment over two years and the flexibility given to local authorities for spending. The funding is intended to complement earlier reforms and initiatives aimed at improving the status and training of social care staff, as well as the NHS workforce plan introduced in June. The funding is expected to help prevent hospital admissions and facilitate quicker discharge from hospitals, thereby reducing waiting times for ANA services and ambulances. A plan to enhance urgent and emergency care highlighted the issue of patients who are medically fit to leave the hospital but are awaiting home care, with around one in four patients falling into this category. While the additional funding has been seen as a positive step, experts and campaigners caution that it may not fully address the deep-rooted challenges that the social care sector has faced over the years. The sector is currently strained with approximately one in 10 social care posts being vacated. Uh, the government's previous social care reforms had faced criticism for allocating only around 250 million pounds for the social care workforce compared to earlier promises of at least 500 million pounds. While the allocated funding is acknowledged as a positive measure, experts emphasize the need for comprehensive, long-term reform to address the systematic issues in the social care sector, which have been neglected for years. The challenges in social care are interconnected with the broader health care system. A holistic approach is seen as necessary to ensure the resilience and effectiveness of the entire health care workforce. You know, folks, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, wow, what a situation. I wonder if there's a way that I could invest and make some money on this type of situation. Well, that is a great idea. If you are interested in learning about investing, if you want to meet other investors from around the world, you should join my group, the Benjamin Z. Miller Investor Networking Group. Just go to my website, www.benjaminzmiller.com and fill out the contact form. We love to hear from new people. Or just do a search on LinkedIn or on Meetup for Benjamin Z. Miller and you can find the links there to the group. I hope that helps and I wish you good luck with your investing.